Welcome back, folks. Today we are going to be talking about the flatten brush. Let's go ahead and crank open Blender and get to blending. So we're going to do new file general. Let's go ahead and save as. We'll just call it flatten and save it. And you know the deal. Go ahead and add your matte caps if you would like. I usually use this one, but today I'm going to I'm going to switch it up. I'm going to use this little red one here. And let's go ahead and add our multi resolution and subdivide it four or five times however much your computer can handle. All right, so now we got our monkey. Let's go ahead and flip into sculpt mode with control tab down and go ahead and activate your flatten brush. It looks like this, it's got a little flat part on it. And that's what we're gonna do today. We're just gonna be flattening out Suzanne. Notice here we've got our radius, we've got our strength and we've got our positive and negative. And this one is default to negative because it's going to be flattening things. And notice on the tools here, this little tool panel, we've got auto smooth and the plane offset. So if you want to offset the plane even more uh, for your flattening, you can do that. But essentially what this brush is gonna do is exactly what it sounds like. It's just gonna flatten things. So, you know, look, it's gonna, gonna do it in the direction that you're looking or that the brush is kind of, you know, the angle. Kind of see how, as I roll around her eyebrow here, the, the angle of this circle kind of morphs. So it's gonna be, you know, flattening in that angle. So if I wanna flatten on the side here, I would get on there and then bloop, 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 and it's just gonna flatten that out. So this one's really good if you just wanna flatten some things. You can even, you know, scale it up really big and you know, flatten the top of her head. So what I want you to do with this one is just flatten Suzanne, you know, just make really big and small flattened areas all over her face just to kind of get used to this brush, you know, increase your your power. I'm gonna do it here, boom, boom, boom. Look how, look how quick that goes. You can even decrease your power. Um, well, maybe not to zero, but barely, you know, shift F, and just crank it down. And this one's just gonna barely make some flattening. You know, if you just wanna just give a little tappy, you know, but you don't wanna, you know, deform it like crazy. You just need to flatten it out a little bit. That's what you can do with that one. And I also want you to try the positive side of this brush, which is called essentially the contrast brush. Um, so if you hold control, that will flip into the opposite of that. So just hold control and maybe increase the strength so you can actually see what's happening. <laughs> so I'm going to go to maybe 0.5. I'm just type in 0.5. Another cool thing is if you hit shift F and are rolling your your pressures right here, you can actually hold control and that will lock it into increments. And if you hold shift, it will do very, 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 very tiny increments. That's very helpful. So if you just want to lock it to 0.5 and then hold control to activate the positive side. And I'm still not seeing much happening. So I'm going to crank it up even more. There we go. So you can kind of see, it almost looks like it's just pinching it, but it's just kind of doing the opposite of flattening, which is uh, bringing it up. So let's just do it right here. Oh yeah. So I don't see a reason that you would probably ever use this unless you just like the look of this. Uh, but just want you to know that it's there. Maybe even do it on a smaller scale. Nothing really happening. So really, it's not too impressive of a brush, the contrast brush. But most of the time, you'll probably just use the negative side of the flattened brush and flatten things. So that's probably what you're going to do most of the time. And then again, you can always hold shift and smooth things out if you need. You know, flatten, 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 smooth it, smooth it, smooth it, smooth it. So just, yeah, have fun, flatten some Suzanne face here. And uh, whenever you feel like you have flattened her face enough and made a fun little design or sculpture, flattened sculpture, then let's jump into the next lesson and we will talk about the fill brush.